Hello everyone, everyone. I'm here for Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 1. Now before we get into this review, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and make sure your notifications are on. Now let's, you know, pick up on Season 6 and what happened. John came back to life. He decided he no longer wants to be the King of the Night Watch. He's given his life and died and he has come back. We have Sansa. She finally escapes Ramsay and all the craziness of which is him. Theon and finally snapped out of being Rick and decided to help her. Got her to safe places, which is with Bri Brienne of Tarth. Got her going. Dan Daenerys, she has escaping from the cows who want to rape and pillage her and let them know um i'm not that person i will burn you alive and i will prevail um, victoriously cersei is mad because she has her son has been she feels like betraying her so she, and, and to prevent herself from going to the walk of shame and going to court she decides to kill everybody in the court and as a result of that time was like I can't take this my wife is gone so I'm going to kill myself she had already lost all three of her children so the red the witch that she saw in the woods a few seasons ago was right your children are going to die you're going to have three of them they're all going to die there's nothing you can do about it John finally kills Ramsey. Ramsey needed to die. He killed his father, which I wasn't really mad that he killed his father because his father was responsible for Rob and Catherine Stark dying and Rob's wife dying. So that was really no, wasn't really sad about that. But the stepmother, she did nothing but have a baby son. That was her own thing. But I don't think I would have taken my first newborn baby outside to meet his new brother. I just wouldn't have done that. I'm just going to assume that she didn't know that her husband was dead or she would have packed her bags and gone. But no, Ramsey being Ramsey and the evil in this person that he is decides I'm going to kill you and my brother because I want to be an only child. But in the end, John was able to take down Ramsey with the help of Littlefoot and a lot of people and I'm glad that that Ramsey was killed by his dogs that he did not feed for a whole entire week. So that was basically what happened to on season six, a little more, a little less. So let's get on to season seven. We start off with Walter Furry, and I was like, Arya killed him on um, season six, episode ten. But now to think, she has she has the ability to change faces. So while Walter Frey is congratulating everybody in the room for killing off um, Catherine Stark and Rob Stark and killing them and their unborn baby, even though they were guests in their house, and everybody's looking like, yeah, like this is a weird toast, but we're going to continue to drink. Everyone dies, and Arya pulls off her face and tells one of his wives. When people ask, let them know that the fray, the winter has come for the phrase. And what I found strange was nobody seemed surprised that this was Walter Frey and the face is gone and now it's no longer Walter Frey. They seemed like that was a normal occasion to them. I don't know, maybe this happens all the time, but if I had seen somebody who I thought was one person and then they just take off a mask and it's a, the, the voice was everything and they just take off a mask and it's another person I would probably pass out I'll probably run I'll probably scream I'll probably do something other than just standing there looking like okay I'll relay that message so we have Bran he has some visions of the White Walkers coming it is a whole horde of them and there's some giant White Walkers I didn't know I like when did the giants become part of the White Walker attack when did this happen? He makes it to Castle Black with Mira. And I just know that she is tired of dragging him around for like the past two seasons. It's cold. They no longer have Hodor. They no longer have the wolf. It's just her freezing cold trying to drag him around since he cannot walk. And being cold and hungry. So they make it to Castle Black and Bran... It was John's friend, and I can't think of what his name is. Like, John was like, you're going to be the new king of the wall. I'm done. That man. He wants to know, I, I, you don't have any identification because we don't have that now. But how do I know who you are, who you say you are? And Brank explains to him, I had a vision of some white walkers. And they're coming for us all. So, dude was like, okay, that's enough clarification for me you are welcome in but I'm not sure where John is because he's having a meeting with 
all the people who are you know part of his crew now let them know look here winter is coming white walkers are real i've seen them sam has seen one and killed one we need to get people together i'm talking about old young men women boys and girls but one of the men is like you expect me to give my granddaughter a sword we can't afford to leave anybody out. We need all hands on deck. And Lady um, Crane was like, look here, I'm not going to be sitting here by the fire just watching and knitting. I, me and my people, we're going to stand together and we are going to make sure that everything is fine. I know I'm sorry, I keep on looking at my notes, but making sure that we fight the good fight and that we are alive at the end and we are not going to be the White Walkers. And this is when Sansa, this season, I can tell Sansa's going to have more of an opinion. Because, you know, last few seasons, she was scared, didn't want to say anything. Now, she, she's, she has a lot of opinions, like I said. She's, like, kind of debating with John, like, these people were traitors. We should, the people who are working with Ramsey, who died, give their, give their houses to the people who are fighting for us. It's plain and simple, but John was like... No, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it this way. She's looking like you were wrong. It was me who brought Littlefinger and the rest of the army. So you can defeat Ramsey. So my opinion is valid. But it's the way she could have done it. But as John being the king of the north, I don't think that was the right way of going about it. But then again, these two never have really been close. So it's kind of hard for her to just like accept John's word as what he's saying, even though she's not, she knows it's not right, but like there's a way of doing things, you know. What else? We have Cersei. I thought Cersei was going to be in somewhat mourning, but then I had to remember this is Cersei. She's just mad that Tyrion is working with Danny. John is the king of the north. Our baby boy Tommen, he betrayed us. Yes, I'm sad that he's dead, but he tried to betray us. He wanted me to go in front of the courts, but, you know, I handled all that. I burnt up the courthouse, and, you know, everybody that I would defeat was dead. But I'm like, I was just wondering if the people were walking down the street and then, like, the green fire just came along, like, I'm new to this area. You can't outrun it, so, like, how many people does she have left in town? I was thinking that, but now I noticed like it was just one little area that got caught on fire. I thought it was going to spread. There was going to be nobody left, but she still has people left. But she's thinking, where are we going to do now? Because we have enemies all around us. We have D Danny and her dragons. Tyrion's working with her. John is the king of the north. And but Jamie's thinking, I don't know what we're going to do because we're looking weak right now. We don't have enough grain to feed our soldiers or our horses I don't know what you want me to do like but all three of our kids are gone our baby boy killed himself because of what you done I don't see us getting out of this situation but she feels look here I didn't go through 40 years listening to dad and not learn something learn a thing or two about what's going on we have Sam which I was so happy to see Sam because Sam just just makes me happy I thought he was going to be out here reading books, getting all this knowledge, but they have Sam doing multiple jobs. He's the drag of all trades at the maester's house. They have him being librarian. They have him being on janitorial duty. They, feel, they have him being a server. They have him assisting at autopsies, which we're going to pause right there. Like They had enough knowledge that I'm going to put something over my clothing and I'm going to have gloves on. Like, I couldn't tell this at first, but I was like, that looks like they have on a pair of gloves. And it is. And he's helping, and he's letting man know, I came here to get knowledge on how to kill the White Walkers. I didn't anticipate changing bedpans, which they kept on showing that scene over and over. And I am, I gagged very easily, and I was like, I could not do that job. He was getting bedpans, the little, look area where I guess the outhouse area he had to clean that he had to clean the bedpans and I was just like like at one point the food in the bedpan started to look the same and I was getting grossed out but he was like I came to see about you know how to kill white walkers and nobody believes me that they exist and the man who's working with him, he's doing an autopsy on, basically lets him know people believe some things and they don't believe others. But I'm like, 
that was ugh. I just that seeing it, it just like I just <clears throat> so Sam he was you no know, being nosy and noticed a book but he couldn't get in there because they have everything locked up because if you're not a maester you have no business back there so while one of the maesters was sleeping Sam decides okay I'm going to get this key and I'm going to get these books and I'm going to find out one way or another what is going on what else happened Okay, we have Sam. Okay. We have Arya rolling up on Ed Sheeran and his band. That's what I'm going to call them because it was Ed Sheeran. He turned around and so I just like laughed. I was like, is that Ed Sheeran? Him and some other guys, they are in their like army suits. So they're like, okay, the furries, they have been killed and we have been set guard. I, when I was younger, I wanted to basically be free, but now I just want to go home. One young man was like, I should be out on the boat with my dad. Another man was like, I just had a baby, and I hope it's a little girl, because little girls actually take care of their daddies when they're older, and boys go off to fight in somebody's war, because I was like, I'm going to be a girl. Why would you want a girl? Girls can't fight and do all this stuff, even though I do. No, girls don't do that, but they offer her some food and some wine, and... A little bit of part of me was scared that they were going to, you know, do something to Arya. It was going to be poison or something like that. That they knew that she had something to do with Walter first death. But, you know, she's laughing, getting a little drink on. And I was like, okay, what are you out here? This young, pretty girl in the woods, what are you doing? And she lets them know, I'm here to kill the queen. They laugh, of course. I'm like, you kill the king, kill the queen. That's laughable. Not knowing that Arya, she's killed a few people and she already has her hit list. And she's taken out at least two of those people on her list. And Cersei is one that she wants to get as well. So, we have the Hound. He is with his crew. And the dude with the patch on his eyes. I don't remember what, um, what's it called? Ice Age movie. But the one where, like, the little squirrel has a patch on his eye. I don't know why, but that man reminds me of that squirrel. But anyway, they're looking for shelter. And he already doesn't want to go in there. And I'm like, why don't you want to go in there? He's like, I have a bad feeling. It's like, you too big to be scared of little things. So he goes in. And he sees a man and a little girl sitting in the corner. They look like they frozen to death. But it appears that the man... They didn't have food, so he decided, I'm going to do a murder-suicide. And one of the men, he's asking, like, how do you keep coming back to life? You've died several times, and why can't you or the Lord like just explain why you keep coming back to life? So, the man with the patch is like, come here and look at the fire. Now, you know, the hound, he doesn't like fire since his face was put in fire when he was younger and distorted his looks. But he's like, okay, show me what this magical fire says. And I would have to be a part of a group to worship fire. And he sees in the fire that the White Walkers are going to be a castle black ascending upon it. And uh, he's kind of like taking it back to like, I'm looking in fire and I'm seeing this. I see a lot of dead people walking. I see a wall of ice. I see a castle. I'm not putting two and together that this is like that this is Castle Black, but he knows that something is happening. Like one of the men was like, Hold up, you see what this is gonna happen? Yeah, they're li he's letting them know that winter is coming and the White Walkers are upon us. We have Sam, Gilly, and little Sam. I was like, I'm I didn't think Sam was gonna be able to live in the house with Gilly. I think that's what her name is because, you know, I thought he was supposed to be at the maester place where it's just, you know, you hear your study and you're doing your dude. But he's there trying to find out everything he can about dragon glass. And it appears that where the dragon grass, glass, I think, originated is where Daenerys is from. That, hey, if you go there, we can find dragon glass. So he sends a raven off to John to let him know, look here, this is where dragon glass is. And you need to find it. Well, Sam is doing his usual janitorial work. We see Jorah. Jorah's whole arm is got the gray scale, I think it's called, that looks like an infection on his arm. And he wants to know, has the Dragon Queen come yet? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of this. And I think it's going to drive me further and further crazy. 
Speaking of Daenerys, we have her arriving at, I think, Dragon Island. And I thought the place was going to be Blue Trap. And then I was thinking, this place hasn't been occupied and I don't know how long. How come there's no cobwebs around? What's going on? She's looking around and now she's ready to strategize. How are we going to take over so I can be on the Iron Throne? So that was... Game of Thrones Season 7 Episode 1. I do like that Sansa is, you know, speaking her mind now and not just sitting back. I still think Littlefinger is up to something. He still wants Sansa to be his wife. I'm wondering when Bran and Jon and Sansa are going to come together. What steps are Arya going to have to take to meet up with her siblings and how this is going to come late. And... I'm glad that Sam found out where to find Dragon Glass Head to try to help John and the other people. Cersei is still Cersei. You can't say anything else about it, but she just wants to, this is where she always wanted to be. She didn't want to have a king with her. She wanted to rule. She couldn't do that. She had to rule through her children, but now all three of them are gone. The Hound, she. He's now realizing, okay, this is real. What's going on? So that was my review of Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 1. So I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.